the award that we're about to make is for an individual. Over the course of our season, we have 44 teams participating in the Heineken Cup and the Amlin Challenge Cup. And this is clearly about a team player, but this is about a player and their performance throughout the year. This is also an award that is selected by a group of independent media experts and also it's selected by the participating clubs. So for the players selected, this is a very special honour and due respect for their performance throughout the season. I'm delighted to say that there was a, a short list, a very keen and uh, clearly fought short list, which included three Leinster players, Jamie Heaslip, Isaiah Nasiwa, Sean O'Brien, and from Stade Francais, Sergio Parise, and from Northampton, Soeni Tongawea. I will now announce that Sean O'Brien is the winner of the 2011 EORC European Player of the Year Award. Sean, if you might come in, I'm delighted to present the award to you. And congratulations, Thanks, fantastic yeah. achievement. Thank you. Well done. So obviously for you, it's, uh, it's been a special year. You've uh, consistently performed throughout the year. So I know you're a team player. I know as a number seven, you're going to say that this is about the team. But I guess this is also for you a special honour. Yeah, personally, it is a, it's a great honour, obviously, to get um, this medal. And, um, you know, I'm, I, I suppose there's a lot of hard work gone in during the year. And, um, you know, this is, a, I suppose, a little token of, of uh, what has gone in throughout the year. So, you know, I am delighted. Um, I will go back and say it was a massive team effort. Um, and I know Joe sure. Smith will want you to put the celebrations on hold until after the weekend. But hopefully you'll be able to celebrate this for your own performance because you, you've had a fantastic year. So well done. Well, basically, this was a, a bit of fun for me as the um, Irish representative on that five-man panel, um, particularly when we came up with a shortlist in conjunction with all 44 clubs who voted as well of a five-man shortlist that included three Leinster players, uh, Jamie uh, Heaslip, Eason Asaba, Sean O'Brien, along with um, Suene Tongawe of Northampton and uh, um, Sergio Parise of the Amman Challenge Cup final at Stade Francais. And then we met on Friday um, over a pleasant lunch in Cardiff, and we discussed the merits of all five players and we had a clear favourite then, and um, certainly, and we had a clear second favourite. We, but obviously, there was still a final to come. And then we had the final, and um, I must say, Sean O'Brien made it very, very easy for us. Um, he, along the way, he picked up uh, three Man of the Match awards in three different back row positions, scored four tries, was the leading ball carrier in the tournament. Was that was going into the final? Um, was the beat more defenders than any other forward in the tournament and had the second highest tackle count. So I think all in all, it was a very easy, unanimous decision and he set quite a benchmark for future winners. Sean, uh, 44 clubs and an independent panel voted for you. How do you feel? Yeah, it's, uh, it's unbelievable, really. i um, very happy um, and, you know, I suppose I'm just, just delighted. It's saying something when there is three Leinster players um, on the shortlist. Yeah, you know, I suppose... Uh, it paints a picture of how good uh, of a season we've had so far anyway. Um, you know, I suppose any one of us could have got it, but um, you know, I'm happy it was me anyway. <laughs> Sean, it was only two years ago when you were on the periphery of the team and then you broke your leg. Did you ever think that you'd make such a big impact in such, such a short space of time? Um, I suppose I always hoped to be where I am now um, and, and more, you know. So, um, you know, it's been, it's been a good year for me. Um, I got back after my leg, obviously, and... Things went well for me, so um, hopefully I can build on that now in the next week or two and then hopefully into a World Cup.